Tampa International. The airport uh, will reopen to arriving flights 4 p.m. today and plans to resume full operations at 3 a.m. tomorrow, which tells me they've assessed and there was no damage to anything, sure. which right. is certainly good. And this afternoon tide that we're concerned about, it will bring more water in, but I don't think it'll be as high as this morning's when well, that big storm. So, yes. Yeah, but it's just we can't get the water to push back out. Right. And that may take some time. So we go to the beach. Uh, I saw some folks in the water. Come, come on. Anyway, Clearwater Hilton Beach camera again. The Gulf of Mexico is angry and it's going to look like this again tomorrow as well. Takes a couple of days typically after a hurricane comes through to just kind of settle the waters down. So uh, you see obviously the water higher than it should be. Bon Appetit restaurant camera looking a little bit better than it did. Um, as things are starting to wind down, let me roll through the radar because we're not completely done with some of these rain bands. For instance, here's some heavier rain just to the west of Avon Park. It's raining up around frostproof, so you get these still these quick little tropical downpours that will last 10, 15 minutes with some wind gusts, and that's about it. Here's another one raining right over Sarasota now. And that stretches northeast, but all the way up into parts of northeastern Manatee County as well. So you see these very long strips of some very heavy rain. There's another one just moving through Zephyr Hills and going southwestward down into parts of Hillsborough County as well. There's not a lot of rain left, so just understand you'll get a few showers to roll through with some gusty winds, and that'll be about it in terms of sensible weather. We just got to look out for this afternoon's tide, which will be at 212, the high tide at Ballast Point here in Tampa. 154 in St. Pete, 212 will be the high tide in Bayport and 247 in Crystal River. The, the, the water is going to go back up again. Astronomically, this is our largest tide, but since the storm has already made landfall, we're not going to get that extra push. All in all, we're going to get some more water to move in, and then that should be it. Storms quickly. I mean, it's quick. It's racing north northeast at around 20 miles per hour. How about a Category 1 hurricane sitting over southern Georgia as it's going to race to work its way, eventually moving back out over the Atlantic again. Technically still in a tropical storm warning because right along the coast, every once in a while, we're getting those winds gusting close to 40, and especially in some of these rain bands. So again, don't be surprised, but it's not going to be that big an issue. There goes Adalia. You can see once the whole entire circulation or the main part of it has moved on shore, it's kind of lessened up a little bit, some of the shower activity that we're getting, but it's going to leave behind a deep plume of moisture that moisture interacting with just our daily heating for the next couple of days will continue to bring us some showers and storms. But I want to show you something. Well, here's Adalia. Okay, so Adalia, and it, as it moves offshore, okay, two things are going to happen over the Atlantic. High pressure builds into the east, and as this moves south, watch what the two of those do. Drives drier air back into here. So Adalia comes up, brings all this rain and storm surge, and then now it's going to help to aid in bringing the drier air back in for the holiday weekend. Go figure, and with high pressure in control, we're going to lower, significantly lower the rain chances as we're going into this holiday weekend. Okay, so windy, some scattered showers, the high water levels will be the really the main focus for later this afternoon. Temps in the upper 80s. Couple of spots, maybe a touch 90, but breezy. Showers possible tonight, low 79. We're back to the showers again tomorrow. Scattered, not, you know, not all day, anything like that. Breezy with tomorrow's highs around 92 degrees. And just watch as the heat goes up and the rain chances go down. So for Labor Day weekend, much better with those highs back in the 90s and the rain chances much lower. Let's see if things are getting any better on the roads.